Well, here we are. I know it's been a while since my last video, but I wanted to wait till, uh, Clever was all healed up. He had, uh, some minor surgery. So, he's all healed up. Only took a couple months. But, uh, we're back at it again. We're gonna go hike up High Brighton Mountain. It's small hike. Shouldn't take that long. But, as I said, we got a new adventurer with us today. My baby girl. Say hey, Tegan. Say hey. Hey, baby. She'll get the hang of it. But, we're gonna set off and uh, catch you in a minute. I've been out of the game for a while. Just past the yellow gate, safety gate at the wildlife service has put up to keep uh, unauthorized vehicles out. Because people don't know how to leave well enough alone. Regretting my decision because someone's unhappy. And according to the map, it's 2.2 miles to the top. We'll see how it goes. Welcome back. Now I'd say about a quarter mile. Maybe I ain't really keeping score, but we've switched positions. Now someone is much happier, ain't that right, baby? And the stroller, you ask? Well, it's carrying all the gear. Ah, easier on my back. And well, his too, so I don't have to have him carry his pack. It's all in the stroller. They always say, think smart, not hard. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. And I thought backpacking was hard. Try hiking with a kid with a stroller. All right, oh, you see that right there? Yeah, that's the top of High Brighton. That's where we're going. Yeah. Lovely view on this side too. I didn't realize how hard this hike was going to be. Especially with everything I have. But, on a good note, I did find some blackberries. And they're good. A little tart. But they're good. Side note, bring water and a water filter. I left mine in the car, so I won't be able to use it for me. But uh, my dog ran out of water. Him. And uh, me and Tegan, we got plenty of water. You know, she's got a whole water bottle, bottle to herself. I got a whole bladder. I only brought him one of his one liter bottles, and he's already drank all of it. But uh, there's a small stream up here natural resource really small stream it was a uh, gave us enough to fill his water bottle back up so he's got water again but uh like i said if, if you're gonna hike high brighton bring water and a water filter in case you run out of water you can refill it to spring and use the filter okay well 
we're almost at the top radio towers right there in the distance can't see it because the sun's blocking it out but it's right there it's right there just past the first radio tower on our way to the ranger tower now which is at the top of high brighton and well someone didn't quite make it and clifford being See at the top. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole gang here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole gang here. Okay. Now that that's over. Here we are. Top of Highbrighton. Where the lovely ranger tower is oh yeah we at the top left the stroller behind next to the tower because I wanted to come see all this without the hassle we're at the giant star that sits on top of High Brighton Mountain. Oh, star and cross. And what a beautiful view. Very beautiful. All that, all of it, the climbing, the bumps, worth it for this view. Like I said, it's a lovely view. There's a giant star cross thing that lights up. What we are approaching is the hang gliders ramp. I want to know how people carry their hang gliders up here. So this will give me a good view. I hope Clifford doesn't fall. Clifford, back. Hey, I can see Chick-fil-A. There's a auto zone way over there in the distance. I think I might even see Walmart. You know, I don't think I'd change this view for anything. 10 out of 10 would recommend coming back up here. Maybe with less of a stroller. The Airsmith Crossroads, where Chick fil A is. There's AutoZone, like, right 
there. You can see the little red building of it. There's Walmart. And it just goes to mountains. That's why I'm glad I live, love living in the foothills. Because nothing beats a view like this. I know I keep saying that, but you actually need to come here to grasp the full, the full concept of the way I'm saying it. It's a beautiful view. Yeah, well, here's the ramp. See how an angle it goes off, and you just drop off. A little fire pit, somebody made it out of the pit. But right next to it is this memorial. In memory of Steve Green. And here we are at the top of High Brighton Mountain. And someone's finally awake. Yeah. And we found some new friends. Watching adventures with Michael, Michael and Clifford. Awesome. As we start the descent down the mountain, we will have less stops because uh, it's pretty much downhill. And well, I'm trying to hope, trying, hopefully, hoping, trying that I can get down this mountain within an hour. I guess we'll find out if I can. You know, as I'm descending this mountain rapidly, I can't help but want to give a shout out to my buddy, Outdoors with Dustin. Now go watch his channel, like and subscribe. He uh, he's an outdoorsman, not like myself. He uh, does more fishing videos than me because. I haven't fished in a few years. In a few, I mean, well, probably six, maybe seven. Yeah. Shout out to D. Happy trails, man. See you at the bottom of this mountain. Peace. Oh. FYI. Paracord can attach anything. When you got someone that's fussy and they want their toys, you attach it with paracord. One to each other, loop through. That way, she drops one, they don't hit the ground. Hashtag dad life. Made it back just in time for a beautiful sunset. What do you want to say, Tegan? You want to say hey to the people? Say hey to the people. Say hey. Thank y'all for watching Adventures with Michael. And Clifford, hope you enjoyed.